Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Z. I'm going to be trying out a new version of Yasuo that we put together earlier today. What this version is all about, it's about uh, basically this metagame where this metagame is all about like Leviathan and, um, and Nautilus and playing very large units, especially against Nautilus and these deep decks that are, um, you know, playing that kind of stuff. We're bringing back Recall. There's not a lot of Recall in the format, not a lot of Will of Ionia. So we're going to be trying three Will of Ionia and, yes, three Mina Swiftfoot. Um, it is a slower format, and that's what I want to try. If Like, how is Swiftfoot after Swiftfoot after Swiftfoot? Like, will, <laughs> will uh, that just be backbreaking? That's what I want to try. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, as far as uh, we can put pressure on the opponent also in the early game with Zed. Uh, we can have Key Guardian help protect Zed and Yasuo. We can, you know, use that card a little bit. Um, also, another, you know, Key Guardian is really good with like Minotaur Reckoner as well. Um, I'm not too big on Ravenous Flock in this deck. That's something that, um, you know, you, some people are like, well, where's Ravenous Flock? But uh, we're playing Death Lotus instead. Because basically, I want this remove. I want this kind of removal spell early in the game. Because late in the game, we got all this kind of like bounce and all that kind of stuff. I don't need like a one mana deal for late in the game. I don't think to pair with like concussive palm and sentry. Like so, there's there be times, of course, where if you have you have like turn three sentry or turn three concussive palm plus uh, ravenous flock, like that's awesome. That is very good. But like if you don't have sentry or don't have concussive palm, the ravenous flock can just be stuck in your hand for a long time, and then. You know, like you're only able to play it like a lot later. I don't really want that. I want something that we can definitely play early um, against against those kind of decks. And you know, there are some decks that go wide, especially with um, uh, the three mana three two that makes a one drop. There's a lot of like little incidental bodies like that that go wide. And I just like Death Lotus to be able to clean stuff up. So we're gonna use that. All right, so let's try this Yasuo Zed. This is like the anti uh, big stuff deck, and especially anti deep. Uh, like, you know, anti-Nautilus for sure. You know, we're just going to be bouncing Nautilus all the time. They spend seven mana on Nautilus, put it back in their hand. Then they got to spend seven mana again, and they put it back in their hand again. And just try to uh, keep them from really going crazy with all the sea monsters. That's the plan. We'll see how it works. So the thing about Riptide Rex is it is another 8-drop that they're going to be relying on, but it's an 8-drop with a great Enter the Battlefield effect. I'm going to keep Reckoner. Maybe I shouldn't be keeping Reckoner. <laughs> okay, well, I talked up a big game about Will of Ionia and Mina Swiftfoot. I don't really want them right away. As you can tell how I mulliganed Will of Ionia. Alright, had the Blade Twirler the whole time. I think I'll just pass as well. Done that. Underestimate. I dare you. Pump that up. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm a people person. So we're doing a great job leveling up Gangplank every turn. They're doing a great job of that. Try to keep up. Best run while you 
can. Okay, so I could recall my own blade twirler. No. We are a Yasuo deck. Aren't we supposed to draw Yasuo? Funny the hell how do they? How do they get their champions? I want champions. I want champions. Well, I mean, I tried. I mulliganed three cards. There it is. I'll show them pain. Yeah, it's not like I didn't try to find Yasuo. Not sure if I just play Yasuo here or not. Especially with them having that powder keg. Because I could play Yasuo, then they could just have Noxion Fervor kill it. I'm not greedy. My friends though. Mm. We are very bad against Nab, to be honest. We're very bad against Nab. There's the fervor. So that would level up Gangplank. Can't, I can't really beat Riptide Rex. I hope they just play Gangplank. what we need to do. Problem with my strategy, I guess, for Tedrex and Nab. I don't know. Um, to be fair, we really didn't have a very good hand with double Swift Foot, double Will of Ionia right away. But. Negotiations are over. Hmm.
they can kill me with a warning shot. So I'm gonna bounce the Riptide Rex because like if I take like, if I take Nexus damage anyway, I'm dead, so might as well bounce Riptide Rex. Like if they have you know, you made the thing, oh well you put it back in their hand, they get a warning shot and do it again. Well if they have a warning shot, they would just kill me. And of course, I don't want to swift foot because they can just replay gangplank, and the attack, uh, the attack part is going to kill me. We're gonna go Yone with the stun. Free and lonesome as a summer breeze. So young, so careless. Can die at any moment, and it looks like that moment is here. Yep. So Riptide Rex is the one eight drop that we don't want to face because <laughs> it has that enter the battlefield effect that just whenever they enter, whenever it enters play, is completely devastating. We want all the other ones. We want the Leviathan. We want Nautilus. All that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, they who endure. Alright, so we can just bounce they who endure. We also want to draw Yasuo, of course. We would have kept, probably would have kept that intimidating roar if we would have had Yasuo, because that's a great combo together for this matchup. Okay, good hand here. We got our ideal curve with Blade Twirler. Sentry Yasuo. Um, probably not playing Sentry on turn three right now. We're just going to play Grenadier. Or I could play nothing. And have Twin Disciplines available. Okay, now we're going to play Grenadier to block that thing. Because I want to wait till after Yasuo is in play before I play Sentry to do the two damage. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? Hey, Nenuel, thanks for the donation deck. The chains, they never stop. Where's my pen? Alright, I'll try that down later. I don't see my pen anywhere. Oh, wait, I just got some new pens. That's right, my desk drawer has pens. Okay, um, let's see. So they do have Callista over there. That can level up. This would be perfect to have Intimidating Roar. Um, let's see, all right, so Nenuel. Gangplank Lucian. Uh, 
I wish you were doing more damage, Yasuo. Underestimate. I dare you. still have so I can basically bounce the Callista which kills Callista but they still have the Neverglade Collector Basically, the Minotaur Reckoner can help our Yasuo level up so that our Yone can kill the um, Neverglade Collector, because obviously this Neverglade Collector is killing me. Softly, even. Oh, definitely Delphinus, yeah. Definitely excited for the new set. Targon's looking good. You know, it's all, all about support, what we've seen so far, and uh, games with support and combat is definitely the kind of games that I like to play. So I'm liking how it's looking. Want to see these moves up close? Try me. Death doesn't scare me. I need to clear up the room anyway. Neverglade Collector is a heck of a card. Twin Disciplines does not look good. I have to wait till next turn for Yone. Cause I need I need one more and then the level up will happen. And yeah, the Death Lotus, you know, if, if this was Ravenous Flock, I could have stunned Collector a lot earlier. Twin Disciplines look really bad. I really wish they were you know, more Will of Ionias. Just need to be able to play like six Will of Ionias. <laughs> hey, what's up, Tan? They didn't do a single point of damage to me. I guess they did two. They did two, two points of damage to me with attacking. A donation deck for another thing also from Korda.
Okay. For for daily? What do you mean for daily? Alright, same matchup. We'll see if we get different results. Love the intimidating roar. Now we just need to find Yasuo to go along with that, because that's that's the fastest way to level up Yasuo. And Swiftfoot would have been nice to have last game, but they would have just used the atrocity in response anyway. Um I attack here, they get to block with Warden's Prey. And then I have a 3-1. Victory at any cost! I think that's good. You know, obviously they could have like Vile Feast to take this out. But I also kind of want less, you know, less like easy blockers for Zed. Okay, yeah, 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 you're waiting for the vault tomorrow? Okay, yeah. Yeah, waiting for the vault. Without a sound. What level did you get up to with the vault? So they have a 4-3 that died? They'll get back with Callista. I'm a little surprised the 2-1 didn't block, but that probably means another Blighted Caretaker which is not great. It's another Blighted Caretaker. Then I'm going... Okay, not another Blighted Caretaker. Well, it still could be. Hmm. They're definitely doing stuff. Everyone's a god. Okay. Leveled up Yasuo. And it leveled up Callista. Probably Neverglade Collector. Yep, we want to wait for those things to die. But from every fallen, a new seed. Scared stiff. Yasuo, where are you at? If they're out there, yep. I'll spot them. So if I block this thing, they deal two to me and gain two. If I don't block it, I just take two. So either way, I'm taking two. Okay, there you go. You need cards for the, for the Yasuo Swain deck. You gotten two Yones and two Yasos from the vault? That is very lucky. That's nice. Good job. Your end is my duty. Mm. 
another really good blocker. So where are you? The intimidating roar was great though. Maybe we should just have three intimidating roars in here instead of instead of two death lotus, one death lotus, three intimidating roar. Saplings. I don't have the the life steal barrier, and that could definitely be a mistake. Uh, I'm not sure how good life steal barrier is against this deck because. Um, Uh, because of Glimpse Beyond. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're doing Spider's Aggro with Collector. I mean, that's that's basically the... That's what we just did, right? It's, it's kind of like who has their, their Neverglade Collector who's going crazy with that. Um. So I might as well use Twin Disciplines to just save this... Yone. Kind of have nothing else for it. I don't really know why they're worried. They're, they're crazy far ahead because two Neverglade collectors. It's just going to be another game where my opponent doesn't have to do any damage. I'm guessing they can just kill me. Get him, Swiftfoot. Get him. Yeah. They get for being greedy. Now who's got the upper hand? Swiftfoot being great. These old eyes still see far and clear. I thought you'd run. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I just attack with everything. Like a scale through the valley. I don't want to play another swift foot. I don't want to set that up. Yeah, this this doesn't even kill them. Probably should have set up another swift foot. Yeah, that was. Or I should have attacked with the three two, not the six one. I guess I can kill him with this. If we culling strike this thing, they don't gain the one life from the 3-2. And then the Death Lotus kills my thing, so they don't gain the one life from the Vile Feast.
They can still stay alive if they have Atrocity. That, you know, they can sack the 3-2. Or if they have Glimpse Beyond, they can stay alive. Either one of those. But they only have two cards we don't know about. Those three in hand don't save them. Problem with this move is, you know, I don't have another... I can't play Swiftfoot this turn. If we need it. Alright. GG's. They will all learn to feel my order. So good thing they played that other they who endure and we got to swift with them. But yeah, even even that last turn, I definitely thought about just Um you know, using like Culling Strike on their two four Having them play another thing and then playing Swiftfoot. And then they're kind of stuck. You know, then they could play just one thing and then, you know, we'd have a lot better attackers. But it barely worked out. <laughs> it worked out, but barely. Yeah. Uh, Tarek? Tarek? Tarek plus Zed. Definitely good. Um, the thing, I think people are overrating Tarek a little bit, to be honest. Uh, like, when you don't have spells, like, if you don't have a spell that you're casting also, which isn't going to be all the time, anytime you don't have a spell to go along with uh, Tarek, it's not going to be as good. You know, just a, a two four that support you, you it gets tough the other you know your other card gets tough it's nothing special Isn't that how you pronounce it? Tarek? Or is it... Tarek? Man, we, we did this earlier. I don't... I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. At least it's not Tariq, which is what I thought it was at first. We have figured that out so far. Do not fear the shrouded path. Frostbite does make everything kind of impossible. You know, like, Brittle Steel just completely wrecks, basically. Okay, no brittle steel looks like. That's good. I'll protect the villages. Okay, yeah, y'all think it's Tarek? Okay. And that's what I mean by brittle steel is just wrecking. Light the signal fires. No, I didn't have any kind of reaction to the new Targon cards, you know, because it's just just a couple of them. Um, it's it's kind of hard to talk about when we don't know all you know all the stuff. I, I like I always do. I'm gonna be doing a set review whenever we know all the cards, like I did with the um, the Bilgewater set. I'll be doing a set review with all of them, and we'll be going through every single card in long detail. Um, about how it can be used and things like that. So once once we know all of them, I'm gonna re release a long, you know, multi-part set review. Death is like a wind, always by my side.
Definitely excited for more Shen potential for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely a big fan of playing Shen decks. Leaping into action. We haven't really seen like any interaction, have we? Does two damage. Yeah, it's just all... So far from what we've seen, it's just all, you know, support stuff and... You know, build, you know, my deck, hope my deck... Have my deck do my, my deck's things. And no interaction... Yet. One blade, one purpose. Face me! Light for Avarosa. Only the finest serve. Pay or bleed. Rough technique. Good results. So I know I could have the sentry kill Ash, but just it just doesn't use my mana that well. Like this is a really nice time to just land Reckoner. And get this combo started. Unfortunately, they just drew into that Avarosan Sentry. I think I don't know. They it does have the Omen Hawk thing, so maybe not. But I, th I think that was what they just drew into. So trying to survive a couple, trying to have Yasuo survive a couple more turns for Swiftfoot. Done Ash here. Good. No elixir of iron. You fought well. Very good. And if only Will of Ionia was Born for conquest. two mana still. Or was four mana, sorry, was four mana still. Alright. Now Yasuo gets up to 5 power, so we're not going to die to a Reckoning. The one problem with Yasuo here is, of course, it is built on whatever Yasuo's power is. That's how much damage you deal. Now it's not just 2 damage, so if they do Frostbite um, Yasuo, then it won't be doing any damage. Um... One blade, one purpose. So they could harsh winds my Yasuo, but then I bounce Sejuani. Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare you. Teeth big as tombstones! Life and death on the blade's edge. They could have just drawn another Sejuani, have Fury of the North. Same thing. All right, take five. Alright, Swift Foot Hype. Next turn. Our deck's doing its thing.
can't stop calling strike with that, unfortunately. Maybe I don't play swift, but maybe we just pass. I will unite the Freljord. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. Hmm. Feet were made for Roman and kicking. Set him up. We'll knock him down. Might not have wings. That's gonna grow the blade twirler quite a bit. The Their plan was reckoning. That plan is gone. Dude, Mina Swiftfoot is great. So it sounds like the A sounds like an apple. Ah. So Tarek. Is that supposed to sound like apple? Tarek? That's kind of weird. Does Riot make pronunciation guides? And if not, why not? Makes it difficult to do my job of, you know, creating content if I don't know how to pronounce the names. They I hope they just make those kind of guides, make pronunciation guides. All right, so yeah, that that was definitely a good game there. We had, uh, you know, we had Yasuo. We, they didn't kill Yasuo. Uh, that worked really well. That's the good part about Zed, as you saw earlier. Like they calling strike Zed, which means they didn't have calling strike for Yasuo whenever they uh, frost bit. Yeah, so they didn't have calling strike anymore. Think it fast? Cute. So this is game number five, so we didn't play against any uh, didn't play against any deep decks. But for those of y'all, if you're playing against a lot of deep decks and uh, you want something to be deep, I think this version is awesome against deep. So I could save Blade Twirler with the plus zero, plus three. Or I could Concussive Palm. I'm kind of worried though. I'm worried about that thing killing Yasuo. Or them having like another one that kills Yasuo kind of thing. So just trading two drop for two drop. It's a great two drop for me. It's also a great two drop for them. I go where the road takes me. A chill in the air. Worst case scenario. Do they have that plus calling strike? Dang. Can't, can't do anything about it. Many tribes under one banner. Dang. Arrows at the ready. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> just make it easy and just call him something like Steve. That would make it pretty easy. Line up.
Let's go. Let's attack. Alright, get 9 points in. Down to 10. Still have Assessor mana available. If I play Yone, they could... Or not Assessor, sorry, Reckoning. If I play Yone, they could Reckoning. That would be... That would kill Babbling Bjerg and these three. It's not too bad. Alright, we stun and stuff. Only the finest serve. Alright, it's not such wanny. I know a challenge when I see one. Ooh. Not gonna be lethal? That's lethal. Alright, two big time wins against Frostbite Midrange. Two real good wins there against Frostbite Midrange. Alright, so there we go. So finished three and two. But yeah, I think I just like having like just these huge things um, at the top end these days. Especially we saw how powerful Swiftfoot was whenever we we're playing that. It was game winning for sure. And and this format's just kind of got about going big, right? Everybody's playing really expensive units. With Will of Ionia not around too much. With everybody playing these expensive units, the Swiftfoots were awesome. Death Lotus didn't look good. It didn't. Um, yeah, Ravenous Flock would have been better than Death Lotus. So maybe try out Ravenous Flock instead. Uh, we didn't play against any decks going wide. And there's not that many of those kind of decks. And maybe we're okay against those decks-ish. Uh, Twin Disciplines was pretty hit or miss as well. A um, couple of times it was good, but a lot of times it wasn't. It is nice that it's three mana and you can have it, you know, it, you can have it with the spell mana. You don't have to have extra mana, which like this other stuff does. It needs extra mana. Um, Spirit's Refuge would be nice to, against like those Neverglade collectors, get a little bit of light steal, and that would be really nice. But um, I think overall I like Twin Disciplines better against like the, the damage based decks like your bilge waters and stuff like that and bilge waters p and z's there's still a lot of those kind of decks running around um let's see uh green glade lookout now green glade lookout is just such a bad card like a two mana two one that's just uh yuck Yes, it could reduce the cost of some of these things, but I just I'd just much rather have Legion Grenadier. Like, think of the Green Glade if we had Green Glade Lookouts last game, like we wouldn't have killed them, right? Like we would have just had like these two ones that were attacking and stuff. And I don't know. I guess maybe we would have been able to play Yone earlier, maybe. But no, I just don't really just don't really like that card. But yeah, I'd have to say that the, the Death Lotus didn't look so good. Maybe switch those over to Ravenous Flock. Uh, because you know sometimes you got you got to be able to like the four damage is really important against Neverglade Collector. 
Callista, Ash, those kind of threats. Maokai. All right, but there we go. That's Yasuo Zed. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and give this one a try. Get, you know, try this version out. This is kind of like the, the version for this metagame with all these big decks running around. Uh, let me know how it goes for you. Um, yeah, leave those comments. But that's it here for Yasuo Zed. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.